Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how to code a train robot with Python and how to run it through the Matray 5 platform. This train robot uses the simple moving average crossover, it buys when the candle closes above the moving average and sells when the candle closes below the moving average. On this chart we can see the price on your USD. The blue line represents the simple moving average. When the candle closes above the blue line, it is a buy signal. When the candle closes below the blue line, it is a sell signal. This is the code to create the simple moving average crossover strategy. We import Matrix 5, Pandas, DateTime and Time for this code. To make our life easier, I've created functions such as market order, which takes the symbol, volume and order type as parameters. And I work with the Matrify library where I pass this request dictionary to order send. So MT5 order send will send my request to the platform and executes the trade. Instead of having to type this lines of these lines of codes every time, writing a single line with market order will save a lot of time. Similarly, we have close order where we just have to specify the ticket of our open position and it will close the order. So what this function does is it looks through all our positions and if there is a position that contains this ticket ID that's passes parameter, it will then create this request dictionary and pass it to order send to close this position. Otherwise, if this position does not exist, it will return ticket does not exist. Also, I've created a function to get the exposure for a certain symbol. So if I want to know how many lots I've opened at the current moment on EURUSD, let's say 5 lots, it will return 5 lots. To get the exposure, we are using empty5.positionsget and we only want to get the positions for the symbols that are open. And then, if there are any positions, I'm using pandas data frame to go through the volume column and I'm summing up the exposure. Then we have the signal uh, function that uh, will look for training signals. So here we have uh, the simple logic for moving average crossover and what we need for this function is a symbol, time frame and SMA period. To get the simple moving average we first need the candlestick data or the bar data. For that I'm using mt 5copyrate from pause and this returns a number of candles based on the position. So it returns the candlestick data for this symbol, this time frame, and we're starting with the candle position one. And then here's the number of candles I want to request, and here we need the number uh, equal to the SMA period. Then I'm passing this data into a pandas data frame, and from that I'm calculating the last close of the bar, for that, we take the bars data frame and then locating the last row of this data frame and taking the close value. For the SMA, we take the close, all the close values and calculating the average value with mean. Now to create the signal variable, we create uh, a variable called direction. And first, initially, I'm assigning the value flat for direction, but if the last close price is greater than the SMA or a simple moving average, the direction is buy. Otherwise, if the last close price is below the simple moving average, this is sell. And this function will return the last close price, SMA, and the direction. These are all the functions we need to create our strategy. So now let's go to our if name equals main block. And here in this block, we are defining the settings of our strategy. So the symbol for the strategy is EURUSD and I've decided to trade with a volume of one lot. For a time frame, just for testing purposes, I'm using MT5.TimeFrameM1, which is the M1 time frame, but we can adjust the time frames and the SMA period here based on uh, our liking and preference. So if you're a swing trader, you can choose any higher time frames that you want. Lastly, we have a deviation parameter that specifies the maximum slippage on the symbol we want to receive when trading. Now to connect to a platform, use MT5.initialize and we are now running a loop 
to run the strategy. Inside this loop, we check for a current exposure on the symbol. And we also want to calculate the data, which is the last close as a main direction. These are functions that we've defined previously up here, here and here. And they will be necessary to uh, run the strategy. So here's the training logic. So if direction is equal to by, remember direction is generated by our signal function. So if our signal tells us to buy, we then look for any open positions that are short. So we want to close all short positions. And to close all short positions, we use empty five positions get. And if any of those position is a sell order, and to check if the position is sell, empty five assigns the type attribute to one that represents a sell order. So if uh, the position sell order, we want to close the order. And for that, we use the close order function and uh, pass the ticket number of that position. Remember, close order is the function that we've created up here. So instead of writing this entire code, we can just write one line and it will close our position. Also, if there are no open positions, right? So if the signal is buy and we have no open positions, I also want to create a buy order. So we will use the function market order that we've defined here up here. And if there are no open positions, then this market order order will open a position on the symbol that we've defined, which is USD, with the volume 1.0 and with the direction, which is by in this case. The same logic applies to sell orders, just the other way around. So if it's a sell, you want to close all buy positions. And if there are no positions open, we want to create a market order that will sell. Lastly, we have some print statements to see what the strategy is doing. So we check the current time, exposure, last close, the SMA, and the signals in which direction we should buy or sell. And also I've added uh, the sleep function. So I want to update the strategy every one second. And this is it. So let's see how to add this strategy to the Matrix 5 platform and run this. When your code is ready, log into your MT5 training account. In my case, I'm logged into IC Markets SC demo. And to start a strategy, make sure that algo trading is enabled. And now to run the script, we simply open our command prompt and go to the location where our Python file is located. In my case, it is located in TraderPy, Algo Trading, and the command to run the strategy is Python, and then the file name, which is sma crossover1.py. So when we run this, now we see that the strategy is running, and we are looping to check for new signals. And if you've noticed, we have a new position open, which is short because currently price is below the simple moving average. This is it for a video. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed it. If you have any training ideas or strategies to be coded in Python, please add them to the comment section and I'll review it to make a potential video. Thank you for watching.